what is it with lizards and jumping? They can't even go. They don't even do it. In the jungle. But in the video game, they cannot stop. Croc Legend of the Gobbos isn't bad, but it is a little primitive. It's got tank controls, you know? Actually, no, it doesn't have tank controls. Ape Escape 1 had tank controls. For a tank, them's tank controls. What is colloquially referred to as tank controls is not actually tank controls, but what else would you call it? You move forward and backwards and rotate left and right instead of moving left and right. What do you call that? Shit. Yeah, that's good. Croc Legend of the Gobbos is pretty good, but it has shit controls. You have a pretty low acceleration and have difficulty turning when at top speed. Jumping goes really high, and it's hard to change your direction mid-air, kind of like Rayman. Grabbing ledges is a little finicky. It's just not really a game that holds up traffic. Oh man, what's the hold up? I'm in a car on the road for crying out loud. Hey you, can you see what's blocking the road? Oh yeah, it's Crash Bandicoot 3. You know, even after all these years, it still holds up. Traffic. Ugh. Ugh. I like the music though. Very whimsical and kid-friendly. Feels like a Saturday morning cartoon for babies. Especially with those stock sound effects. The level design is pretty primitive as well. Mostly just square rooms and large square rooms and rectangular rooms and hallways. You go around pressing buttons and getting keys and opening cages and standing on floating platforms with pools of lava. It's pretty generic stuff. Now I don't mind generic too much, but this isn't blowing me away. Although some of these places do look really nice. I love the sand levels. Something about those dunes is really, really nice. Top 10 sand dunes in video games. You collect crystals which you drop upon being damaged, like sonic rings. This quickly becomes frustrating because of how hard it is to collect them before they disappear. You only need one crystal to prevent death anyway, so you'll most likely end up just collecting one when you don't have any, and then ignoring the rest. And the designers knew this, so they hid some special gems in amongst the normal ones to trick you into not ignoring them. There are five special gems that grant you access to a bonus level, which sometimes is fun, although I can't figure out what to do on some of them, and they usually give you a little furry guy, which I assume is a gobbo, but it's not outright stated in the game. Oh wait, it's in the manual. Well, good thing I still have that. You ever got like an old game on GOG or something and it comes with a PDF of the manual? I never read those. Computer files are just not as good as picking up a little instruction book. I think maybe that's a rant for another time. The bosses are okay. They look funny. You basically just have to run away and figure out when to attack. Your only attack is a little tailspin, so you have to get close, but it's not too finicky once you understand the pattern. But sometimes it is. The one thing I really dislike is that if you lose all your lives, the game ends and boots you back to the main menu. If you hadn't saved the game, then back you go. I died one too many times on this underwater boss, and it turns out I forgot to save, so I had to do the previous level over, and that really took the wind out of my sails. It's kind of frustrating, really. I never got very far in this game, so I don't know whether I have to eventually collect all the gobos, like in Rayman. But I sure hope not. This game isn't easy, mostly due to the shit controls, which means it's not really fun enough to power through. I don't hate it by any means. It's fun to play here and there when you just want some funny sounds to be coming from the TV. <laughs> Maybe the sequels are better. Never played those, never seen them. Tell me if those are worth playing. I might get around to making videos on them. But for now, that's the end of the video. Go check out my Twitch. I streamed Croc a few weeks ago. Uh, follow my Twitter as well. I take suggestions for games to play on there before I stream. And it's a nice chill time. And this is a nice chill game. Yay, Crocodile Legend of the Gobos. God, everything's so fucking cute. These Gobos. You see, I just want one. I want one.